What's the deal, y'all? It's your girl, Tamika. And I just wanted to talk to y'all for a minute. You know, I love to come on here and laugh and joke with y'all and just have a good time. But, you know, it's been something on my heart. And I want to make this an open discussion, so please put your thoughts, be it positive or negative, in the comments because I want us to be able to have an open discussion because, like I said, this has been heavy on my heart. Okay, so, as y'all know, I'm going to school to be an entertainment journalist. So, I'm all into the blogs and everything, especially when it comes to news about shows that I'm going to be reviewing. So, you know, I've been keeping up with Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. You know, they're going to be adding a openly gay producer to the cast. And then I just read that they're going to love, I mean, sorry, Real Housewives of Atlanta is going to be featuring a transgender female. And I was like, wow, okay. This is great. You know, they get a platform to, you know, tell their stories. And we see, you know, their triumphs, their downfalls. We get to, you know, experience their ups and downs, all of that. So I was really happy about it until I got to thinking. And I kind of got a little sad. First of all, before I go on, I want to say something. As far as the LGBT community, I, this is me, so I'm just speaking from my opinion. I do not believe that it is my place to judge what someone believes in, and I mean believe if they were born in the wrong body, who am I to judge? I'm not God, I'm not in their situation, so I can't judge. Same thing for people who are bisexual, who are gay, who are lesbian. My thing is, I'm not God, and I'm a work in progress in myself. Day to day is issues and things that I'm trying to improve on. So who am I to judge? I'm not God. And God's going to already have to deal with me, so who am I to call myself judging them? When I know, you know, I got some things to work on. So, and I just really do believe you love who you love. And as far as, like, being transgender, <laughs> I believe it's possible. But, again, that's just my opinion. So, I don't understand some of the hate that they get. Because, at the end of the day, to me, it's not our business to judge who someone sleeps with. You're not sleeping with them. And as far as being a transgender, they're not telling you to change your sex. So, I never understood it. But, with that being said, you know, like I said, I got a little sad because, you know, it just breaks my heart when something becomes socially acceptable and, and then in turn becomes profitable. Then all of a sudden, Things want to become into mass media. Like, for instance, black people. We couldn't get a, all, I mean, it had been years before Blackish Empire and all that. It took years for us to get a black program, a black program that featured all African American cast on network TV. It took years because supposedly the audience wasn't there for the ratings. But now we got Empire, Blackish, both ratings winners. So all of a sudden, it's cool to have a black show. Everybody's trying to write scripts and everybody's trying to come up with the next Empire or the next Blackish. And it is just so cool. You know, to have an all-black cast now because it's profitable. And I think the same thing is going on with the LGBT community. You know, at first it went from, you know, the gays 
and the lesbians. Like everybody, political had to have a gay. It was the, it, you know, it's the end thing to do. And when they saw that that was profitable, everybody, on, everybody we on TV got a gay. And I'm just like, wow. It's so much more going on in their lives. It, and for y'all just to make fun of it and just put it out there for show like it's a circus act bothers me. It really does. And again, same thing with what's going on, what I'm seeing with the openly gay producer on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood and the transgender female that's going to be featured on Real Housewives of Atlanta. All of a sudden, it's cool to be a part of the LGBT community to the point where they they throwing that in there to boost ratings. Every time you turn around, yeah. Matter of fact, that was the article that I read when they were talking about adding someone, adding this new person to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They said, you know, since Mimi's gone, they're going to add, you know, a, a transgender female to spice, to spice up the show and to bring in the Raiders that they may have lost, that they may be losing because Mimi's not going to be there. And I'm like, that's so sad because they're more than a novelty that networks can profit from. They have stories. They have complex lives. And it's been like that. Like, I thought the same way when everybody just thought it was so cool, you know, that Empire was such a huge hit and Blacks were such a huge hit. I'm like, y'all acting like we haven't been out here. You acting like we haven't been talented. You acting like we didn't have great writers to write scripts and everything. Same thing about the movies. Ever since the butler and they got critical acclaim and, you know, straight out of Compton. Now they want to look at us like, like we just got here. And it's so funny. Like, we've been talented, like I said. We've, you know, we've been writing scripts, but all of a sudden, now that they see that we're coming out in droves, now I bet you everybody and their mama want to have is gonna have a black film to come out. And it's just like when you see that you can make money off of us, then it's great. And I see it happening with the LGBT community as well. Now that you guys see that it's all the rage and it's socially acceptable to be part of the LGBT community and it's made to be made. Not everybody wants to add somebody a part of the LGBT community on their show. For ratings, they, it's all over the articles. For ratings, oh, they're throwing in, you know, this person to spice up the show. And it's like, wow. And yeah, I do think it's great that they get a platform to show the ups and downs in their lives. But I'm like, they've been had complex lives. This is something that you should have been looking into. This is something you should have been exploring. But because it wasn't socially acceptable, they were deemed as outcasts. But now that it's acceptable, you want to profit off them and make them some novelty act. Same thing that you do with black people. Now all of a sudden, it's about to be cool and we're going to have all these influxes of, you know, black TV shows and we're going to have these influxes of black movies at the box office. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, while I'm happy and grateful that you know, it's becoming socially acceptable to not spread so much hate in regards to the LGBT community, it makes me wonder at what cost are they getting these platforms? It's because to me, it's almost like <laughs> you're selling your soul because if you think about it, okay, when it was socially acceptable, they couldn't, they couldn't be on nobody's show. And now all of a sudden, they don't you know, make, you know, the network television, documentaries, all this stuff. You know, we on TLC, we got I Am Jazz. You know, we got Caitlyn Jenner's show, I Am Kate. Like I said, for love and hip-hop, we got 
that producer, and we got this, um, I think, I forgot her name, um, that's coming on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I'm just saying, now that social media is acceptable and there's money to be made, everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon. I just don't think it's fair. But anyway, y'all, that's just my personal feelings on the situation. Please put down in the comments how you feel. This has just really been on my heart all day when I was reading the articles. I was just like, hey, they've been had great stories to tell because now there's money to be made. They want to give them a platform. They should have been giving them a platform. So anyway, y'all, please write down in the comments so we can talk about this. And to next, oh, and please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, y'all. Peace and love.